Hello everyone, welcome back to Celeste Strawberry Jam. Last time, we did the last green level, and today, we're going to jump into the yellow levels. And I'm looking at these, and I know some of you have given me advice for which ones to save for later, but I don't remember anything about the yellows, and also, it's just the yellows, so I feel like this isn't too bad. You can't really go the wrong order with the yellows. The one that I really want to do in the right order is to save Pinball Purgatory and Solar Express for last. So with yellows, I think I'm just going to go with whichever ones I come to first. So let's find some yellows. Also, wait, before we do that, I want to check that top corner because I don't know if I tried or I wasn't able to or what the deal was with that. Wait, I thought I went to the top left bench. I thought I went over here. What? It's the one place that I didn't explore the first time around. Oh, it's not as easy as may seem. Okay, maybe it's just the top. There's nothing up here. Maybe I did explore here. Oh well. We shall see. Anything new revealed? Yes! Okay, I didn't explore. It's good to have the black spot opened up. So we've got some yellow levels around us. Let's go this way! We're going to a blue one, Drifting Deep by Xilibza. That's the wrong button. All right, nothing to the left. Ooh, I love the music opening. Is this gonna be a water level? Are we gonna actually have a water level? Oh wow, this music. We got a double, double crystal. So we're probably gonna do a high jump there and then left, right, uh, I don't know, do, do we, hmm, no, buffering it, we just, I guess we just go left, right, then up, down, that might work, and then we fly through here, and the first room, the, the tutorial room is pretty long, okay, <laughs> we we have a step up from the green difficulty, that's okay, we can do it, let's get started, yeah, Oh, there's spikes there. Ooh, getting around there is tricky. However, this might be the one part in all Strawberry Jam where having a, con a controller makes it easier than having a keyboard. Because you get 360 degree motion when you have a feather with a stick. There we go. What are we doing? Uh, that, I guess. Hmm. So diagonal up into it, probably. Yeah, we get it. Diagonal up into it. Dash through. Then we get a reverse super. And then dash up. Will that let us not die? Maybe maybe we go diagonal to the up left. I don't really see the best way to do this from here. We'll have to try it a couple times. Then we go around. And then we go up, I guess and fall back down to where the bubble is and dash down left. Cause I don't think we can go straight down left with that bubble. That looks like a, it looks like a no. Anyway, then we're in the water. I cannot see the water. I assume we just go down to the right. Uh, no, no we don't. Ah, we don't go into the water. <laughs> we could get into the water. There might be a secret down there. There's one spot under the waterfall where there's light. I'm tempted to check it out. But yeah, we go back up and we get the diagonal into there and, well, no, wait, no, 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 we break that with the feather. Okay, so then we do, and we can bounce down and then we go down again and then we go down again and then we get a reverse hyper into here. Then we get a straight super into this wall we jump off of this wall which we jump off of oh 
Okay, we gotta do both of these. So, hmm. Yeah, I, I think maybe this one will fall, or maybe we can jump up through here. Anyway, somehow we have to go through here. And then we go around again with a feather. Oh, maybe this falls, and then we hop up to the feather and we go around with the feather. Either way, that part looks tough. And then we are over here, and this has only one jump because it's got spikes underneath it. Um, we've got all the keys, so this moves, I guess. This kind of looks like a oh, red bubble. All right, do we want to take the red bubble to the left? No, that'd be weird. Uh, take the red bubble straight up into, I'm sort of uh, assuming we figure out what to do here. We take the red bubble up into the feather, then we go through here, and finally to the end. This is the first room, guys. <laughs> Took me five minutes to look at it. We'll probably be using save states on this one. All right, pretty, oh. Okay, that works. Straight up is fine. I'm going to get really good again with the feather. I say again because I got the goldens on... Uh, is it five? No, it's six. Six and six B. The good news is most of this level doesn't look too hard. The bad news is it has several hard parts. Which makes sense because it's so long. There we go. Alright. Oh! Those just break. Okay, I was expecting it to get out of the bubble. Let's try this again. Nope. What? Wrong way entirely. There we go. Huh? Oh, what am I doing? It falls as expected. Okay, so the fact that that falls, what does that mean for my second time around? It means that I have to not grab this one, right? So I just jump on it. And then I probably grab this one so that it falls and jump to the right so that I can dash up into the gold feather and fly around, but all, but like fly all the way. No, maybe, maybe I can get this bubble and I can go over here because I have to hit the bubble, right? I can't go between the bubble and the spikes with the feather. I mean, maybe I can, but that's really tight. So I'm probably expected to get the bubble again. So then I jump off this and then I don't think it matters if it falls. And then I jump, and that one's already fallen, so then I dash up left. No, there's no way I can clear that. Oh well, we'll see. No, uh, you have to dash there. You can't get there without dashing. So what do I do? So I guess I can test to see whether I can get up to the, to the other platform just by jumping. I think he should be should be able to, right? Save state. Hmm, that's a tight gap. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, you cannot reach that without dashing. You can reach that. Uh, I cannot go up though. So, the question is, okay, well, I'm gonna try going down here, okay. That looks like a, you're not intended to go down there. I'm gonna try a couple more times, just in case. Okay, that didn't, didn't like that. Okay, fine. Yeah, there's, there's no way I can climb over that. So I most likely have to jump here and then do something else. I can't wave off this. No, 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 no. No, there's a jump through there. So I'm not supposed to land there. Oh, here's an idea. What if I wall bounce off of that first one? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay, that works. It might not be correct, but it's something. Yeah, I just go right into the bubble again. Yeah, you can't get through there without a dash. Oh, there's a, there's a key right here. Okay, and there's a double crystal over there. Okay, you're supposed to go over that. Uh, uh. Hmm. So both of these platforms are supposed to move. There's one there and then there's, with a bubble underneath it. And then there's one to the left where you need all the rest of the keys. 
So you can only jump on this once, and the fact that there's a jump through makes me think that you're supposed to super off of it. Which means you have to get over it somehow. You know, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna look it up. Alright, I looked it up. Turns out, it's a technique that I knew perfectly well, but just forgot about. A corner boost. You can bet I'm gonna be safe stating this again. Alright, I have to be holding grab, don't I? There we go. Just gotta do it better. Yes, yeah, so then we probably dash up left, then super off the platform into another corner boost. And then we find a way to go up. Uh, I didn't get it right. Dash back. There we go. And then we, what, dash down? Yeah, why do we need that crystal? I feel like we don't need to dash again. Oh, oh, the platform's still there. So that's how we get up to the feather. There we go. Save. There we go. That's how it's done. Feather. There's, that's not a platform. Safe state is possibly not in the best time. Oh, is that the end? I thought this level was longer for some reason. I always, it always seems longer when you get to the end. All right, now that's what I didn't see. Okay, it's the end, so let's start over from the beginning. No, 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 from the beginning. No, 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 uh, this button. That's the wrong, but why, what, no, no, no. Back. Uh, I got to the beginning of the screen. Uh, which button is it? F4, okay. Huh. I thought it, what, you weren't supposed to go into debug mode if you're not, if you don't choose it from the menu. I forgot! Whoa, that was weird. Hmm, I don't actually think I'm getting more than eight directions with this feather. So, there must be something I don't know about. Oh, I missed! But I made it anyway! I don't know how I survived. I hope this is the time I win! No! Oh, that would've been so cool! Chess! That's what it is, right? Beginner, intermediate, expert, advanced, grandmaster. It's from chess. I was wondering this whole time where those levels came from. Oh, I think it's chess. Or is it Sudoku? I should really demo there to give myself more room. There we go. Yes! I did it! Only 45 minutes for one screen! Ah, uh, this is called Grandmaster for a reason! Where are we going? We are hypering there into there, doing a, a what? Maybe downright just makes us safe? It's, it's fine? Let's test it right now. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I was like, what? That, that looked like it was going to put me in the spikes. Okay, we're coming over here. We have a dash. We probably have to use the dash just to get through here, and then we fall down. Whoa, this is a split path level. Okay, we're, assume we're falling down. We then get an ultra off of here, and we have to go through here, probably. The only way to go, we dash into the feather. We're going around, and then... Those blocks are broken by that red bubble later. We're going around. We have this double crystal. And we hit this feather and we keep going. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we get the feather and we keep going. I was like, or we just double ultra down here. But I don't think that's the right angle. Anyway, we're flying with the feather. We dash through here to get this feather. We fly around. This is pretty linear. I mean... I, I was assuming this would be a split path, but it, it is pretty obvious what to do. Up here, we get a... I jump, maybe? 
looks pretty pretty dangerous for a high jump. No, that's not even set up right for a high jump. The bubble would have to be one square to the right. So we just get a normal jump, I guess. That platform either crumbles or falls, perhaps. Then we get a super over here, possibly. I don't know. Maybe a high jump works. High jump into a hyper. Uh, okay, we'll figure that out when we get there. Then we're here. We get a hyper. We dash through. We have a double crystal. We dash once to break it, and then the what? Do we just go through it and dash again? Or do we bounce off it? So if we bounce off it, I guess we'd have to go all the way around again. Eh? Okay, maybe the first time we come through here, we dash into this and break it, and then we fall down. Okay. So then we're here. We just bubble all the way over here. We dash down right at the right moment. And then we fall in here. We go down right, and then we do a... Something, no, da, uh, left into a reverse ultra. And then we're over here. The level just keeps going. Just, it doesn't stop. And then we're here. We do a, a, a upright into a reverse super, reverse super. Then we're here. Then we go that, and then, and then uh, what? Oh, I see. I see. So. We get a high jump off here, bounce off this bubble without getting it, and then dash up into this one. And I bet if we buffer this and try to get this feather, we'll get hit by the spikes. So we just dash up into this one and fly around and then uh, lose our feather about here, bounce off the bubble and, and just the right way so that it bounces up right here. We dash, we get the feather. There's another feather up there for some reason. Uh, it's a return path. Is there a forward path? Maybe up there? Uh, yeah, I don't see a forward path anywhere. Oh, well, we will ignore that, and uh, we will continue to go around and do a hyper into a dash down and uh, be very careful to land on the thing at the end. All right. All right, let's see if I can do this tonight or if I get too tired. Yep, that's a good start. Nope, oh, wrong way. Oh no, that was the right way. We just gotta jump off the ultra and into... Yeah, get a full height ultra. Yeah, that works. Right, you don't receive the, the animation again when you get a feather while you're already in a feather. Alright, gotcha! I forgot what to do here. Okay. Not... Okay, that works. Alright! Okay, so I'm learning that this level is not that hard, really. It's just each room is really, really, really long. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? <gasps> oh, I bet I'm supposed to reverse super and then super. Okay. So then we're over here. We have to uh, dash through this crystal. Then we dash twice right. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Oh, whoa. Did I have another dash? Yes, I do have another dash, because I pick up a double crystal in the middle there. That was the wrong way. Oh, you get, you get a double crystal here, so you can dash down and then you can dash right. So it's a little easier than I was thinking. Come on, come on. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I was, I was going so fast and it was just getting kind of... Is this a mushroom person? I mean, look at him. It's kind of like... Okay, no. Part of it's in the background, but from the right angle, like right there... Kind of looks like an eye and a mouth. Okay, not anymore. But like... There? Yeah, it's a person. Got it. No! <laughs> so you can bounce between those feathers a couple times. Ideally, you want to go on the first try, just because you probably don't always get it. 
you probably don't always bounce around a couple times, but if you're lucky, like I was, then you might have the opportunity to try after a second bounce. My strat is to intentionally dash out of that bubble so that I can time my ultra better. All right, further than before. So I've noticed something. After playing this long on Strawberry Jam, I have not had problems dashing in the wrong direction. So yeah, remember how in the beginner and intermediate and advanced I kept complaining about dashing the wrong direction? And I blame the controller? Nah, nah, turns out it was not the controller. Why? You know, I wonder if I could swipe the top of this bubble with a dash and get that feather. I'm not going to try it, but I wonder if I could. Further than before. No, I had a dash. There we go. Oh no, no, no. I'm not supposed to dash there. Yes! I did it! Aha! Alright, well I've been playing for an hour and a half. I think that's a pretty good time for a first play session. I will check this out. Uh, are we supposed to demo through here? I just want to find out first. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. I will be back in a few minutes to continue this level. And by minutes, of course, I mean seconds. So I am back. It is time to check this. That, I think, is the first Grandmaster Tech we've seen in this level. Do we have to do more demo dashes, I wonder? Okay, we start by... Is this water? Can we swim there? Ouch. No, can we... Uh, uh. Hmm. Maybe that's not the way we start by going. I mean, there's no other way, though. Well... Yeah, we can't climb jump off of there, because that would require this spike not be there. There we go. That's how you start. Okay, then we do a corner kick. Wait, no, no that's, uh, that's not a corner kick. Corner boost? Is that what it's called? I keep, I forget everything. I forget everything. I think it's called a corner boost. And then we're over here. We have a dash. So we dash up and we break this. We cannot go over there, though. So we fall down after a, a neutral breaking. We grab this. That's pixel perfect, I believe. Go in here. Down diagonal. Left, right. Reverse bunny hop. High jump. Alright, this one's getting a little more technical. And we have this arrow and we fly around, fly up here and then break that. Fall down here. Get this. Go to the left. Back to the feather. Fly through. Break this. Uh, down? I want to say down. Yeah, yeah. We break this and fall down. And then we go into the bubble and reverse and then we dash and dash up then we super over to here grab this feather go around get that dash down right no that makes no sense we lose our feather right there at the top we dash right and then upright oh that's pretty precise hopefully it works and then we're here we go up left to a high jump, then straight left. And we go straight through here, we dash... Wait. Okay, we go past it, and then we dash right. No, we don't go past it. We can't. We shouldn't. Uh, no, we leave this... We leave this block here. 
pretty sure we leave this block here. Because <laughs> there's spikes there. Um, maybe we could demo through? If there's an opportunity to demo through, I want to try it. Because then we could just go around. And then we're flying up here. We get this, we go diagonal. And we keep going diagonal, despite the feather being there? Or maybe the feather disappears? Then we hit this, and we go to the right. And then wave off of here, because if not, we'll hit those spikes. And we have extra speed, I guess. Or at least a dash. Okay. It's long. And it's a little more, uh... Oof. A little more what? A little, uh, tighter. More difficult than the previous screens. But I don't think it's as long as the previous ones. Maybe I just... I'm not seeing how long it is. There we go. Oh no, we can't. Right, there's... I'm gonna try not breaking that. Oh no, we have to. Right, because the... The fall down. Like that. Okay. So we're gonna have to be on it with that red bubble. No, it's a bunny hop. This is giving me the narrow hollow vibes. Okay. Somehow I feel that this room is not gonna be as difficult as the previous rooms. I say as I died at that spot over and over and over again. Okay. Did better that time. Ah, you start in the feather in a different place. Alright, new progress. Oh no! You have been trained to fall straight down after those. There we go. Almost. Almost made some progress is what I mean to say. I mean, almost made a, a, more than a, more progress than I did. So I guess in that case, almost would be applicable every single time. All right, making progress. Not that way. Straight down. Okay. Per it is perfect. I guess I should have mentioned it at first, but the reason I need to reverse super here was because I've been trained throughout this entire game that they spawn you in the correct spot to start your movement. So I was like, how can they start? How can you start your movement right here? And I was like, oh, it makes sense. All right, made it to here. I remembered what to do. Ah! Huh. I'm having trouble dashing out of that bubble. So here's a question. Can you dash out of green bubbles, or does it queue it up? Does it... What's the word? I know the word. Does it buffer it until after the green bubble ends? I think it must buffer it, because I'm dashing while in this green bubble, and it's not going. You can go too fast there. That's one way to deal with it. Made it. What do I do? Straight. Oh, so close! I guess that's an ultra, not a hyper. There we go. Probably should have demoed there, but I made it. Yeah. All right. We have another room. One of these is going to go down and there's going to be a berry at the bottom. <laughs> All right. I guess we're about maybe two thirds of the way through this level. Three fifths, something like that. Okay. We do a hyper here and then we dash through and bounce off the bubble and dash down. Possibly. Like, here's what I'm thinking. Something like that. Like that. Yeah. 
Alright, let's go back to looking. We fly through here, get the double, then fly around here. This looks a little tough. And then we dash here, and we have a double crystal. I'm trying- I'm like, can I fall through there? No. No, you can't fall through there. Anyway, we break this, and then we do a hyper here. And then we dash into the bubble, and then we fly up here. Reverse wave, dash into here. And then we do a uh, bubble straight, and then ultra. And then we're here. And we go left. Yep, left, and then high jump. And then wall jump, and then neutral, so that we're falling down here. And then we go straight into an ultra. And then we're here. We bounce into there, then dash through, and get the feather again. Yeah, so wait. Have we got this feather already? Yes. We've got this feather already. I didn't even see this path last time I looked. So now we take the feather down here. And we... Do not dash into there. I think. We fly down here, we get this double crystal, we're here. And then we dash into there with the double crystal. Okay, it makes sense. Then we dash into the, into the feather. And we fly where? Let's try this way first. Yeah, we circle around here. We go down here, obviously. Right down here. We take this and we go around and right back out. No, no, no. We end up falling through here, probably. Probably not taking the feather all the way down here. We dash and then dash again. Left. Hyper. High jump. And then we do some bubble stuff straight down. It's... It looks like it's trying to train us to go diagonal, 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 but no, we go diagonal, diagonal, straight down, then dash left, and then probably dash down to avoid stuff. Avoid mashing into the spikes. No. We might be able to just fall into the bubble. That would make sense. No, but then why would they give us another crystal over here? So yeah, we dash down, and then dash to the right. Wait, I don't understand. If we just dash straight left, we'll be too far to the left. We will at least bump into some of these spikes, if not the spikes at the top. So maybe we left down, down right. Maybe that's what's intended. And then we're here, and we bubble to the right. And we dash up right. I'm not sure what to do here. Anyway, we have the crystal, we dash up left. We bubble, we dash up into here. And we fly through here, and we're done. Easy. I cannot see the path I'm supposed to go, because it's so narrow. There we go. What am I doing? This isn't the previous room. Almost. That time I meant almost made progress. Forgot where I'm going. Right there, apparently. Right, Ultra. There we go. Alright, where am I going? I forgot. Okay. Okay. It's hard to get a good super ultra. Ah, made it. Yes. Oh, I looked up and I saw a 222.22. Come on, go down under that. I'm pretty sure that... My control stick is not letting me go more than eight directions with these feathers. I managed to duck under that spike once. I think part of the difficulty of this room, and I think it's only happened in this room, but the background is pretty noisy. There's, and the foreground too, just the graphics in general. There's waterfalls, there's stars slash sparkles, there's amoebas and stuff. And then, the ground is pretty glowy. It can be tough to tell where the crystals are, especially when I'm moving, when the camera's moving. Made it to the next feather. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.
Oh no! Uh, I timed it as if I were going into a second bubble, but I'm not! I'm just getting out of that one, so I have to cue the dash. Or here's another possibility. What if I hit it and then I just fall through and then do the hyper off of that? Oh, that was interesting. So my new mindset for this area is to remind myself that I'm trying to go down. I'm not trying to go down left. I'm getting through here and then tapping a little bit to the left so that I can continue going down. That mindset has got me past here a couple of times. Am I missing something? I must be missing something, because there's a key over here. There's a key over here that I'm not getting. Uh, oh, I see. I see. Ah, I missed this whole part over here. I have to get in the bubble, go up, demo through those spinners, and then get this double crystal, dash up, then dash through uh, into that block so I can fall down through here. And then... And then what? Do I, do I have another dash? I must. Because then you have to hyper through here. You hyper out. And then... Back into the bubble. <laughs> okay. I've been missing that spot every single time. Good thing I found it now instead of getting to the end and thinking, Wait, what? <laughs> Wrong button. With that, this might be the final room. This might be long enough to be the final room. It's hard to tell in this level since every level is long, but this one is definitely longer than all the others. Then again, I might expect the heart room for this level to also be pretty long. Oh, there's another double crystal right there. Okay, nice. Here we go. Yes, no! Made it! Ooh. And that's rough. You gotta you really wanna get that second feather before you get before you run out of the first one. I don't know if going in that bubble the second time is necessary. You might just be able to uh hyper into a high jump. Hmm, possibly. But that might be harder. How am I dying in those places? Man, I keep going here. I keep forgetting. Why? Oh, oh I know. I need to be fully pressed against the wall. Okay, I'm getting pretty good at that part. So I think I might start practicing the next part like this. Ooh, that's kind of weird, coming from that camera angle. Yeah, in this level, you don't need to use save states, because you can just skip that half the level. You can't win, but you can practice. It's kind of hard with the camera, though. And maybe it's not worth it with this camera. Save stated, I think. No? Wait, what? Why... Why, why are these buttons not save stating? Uh, they should. Is it a problem because I have a new controller? It's, it's, it's doing as, as if it's directions. As if it's the stick. Hmm. Well, no save states for me. But what am I talking about? I can use the function keys for save states. F7. I think I got it. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally fine. Hey, okay. So, I figured it out. I think I'll practice this a little bit more. Uh, I bounced off of that instead of getting hit by the spikes. Alright, I feel good enough about this. Uh, which one is clear state? F4? Yeah. And this room is not hard either. It's just... The fact that it's so long means it's really hard to practice those last parts. And so I'm here getting through this first part over and over and over again just for a chance at practicing the last part. I made a mistake. 
Ah, uh, the one thing I can't practice. Well, I mean, I guess I could, but uh, when I went to save state, I purposefully missed a key because it was faster. Also, I don't want to accidentally go into the next room. Although, I guess I could debug back here. That still feels a little cheap. Okay, well, uh, I am losing dexterity, so I think that's a sign that I should take a break and leave this for another day. See you soon. All right, I'm back. Uh, some of you have uh, reminded me in the comments that I should do this level last because it's the hardest yellow. Well, that's okay. I am perfectly confident in my ability to beat this level. Uh, that also suggests to me that this may not be the last room either. <laughs> because uh, if it's the hardest, then that's likely that there may be more hard stuff coming after this. Although, it may in fact be the last one. I am willing to hope it is the last one. So, this is a long one. As expected, no surprise. We gotta do some uh, demoing into bubbles, I think. Is it like uh, do we demo? I'm gonna assume that we demo from the bubble, like we press the button while we're in the bubble. If that doesn't work, we will demo into the bubble and then press it while in the bubble. And there's other demo spots like right here. We gotta, uh, yeah, we have a double crystal there. And so we use it to dash uh, upright and then straight through. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. So we get a hyper and then what? We have to get this somehow. Um, maybe a delayed? Uh, no, no, no. A hyper, then a reverse super. Okay, that makes sense. And then we high jump here into that crystal. We dash up, and then we do an ultra here, and then we it's a double ultra. And then we're in here, and then we're flying up and around. There's a little shortcut if you're a Taz, but if you're a human, you don't take it. And then you go around here, dash in the bubble, get a high jump there, into the bubble, do a possibly a reverse hyper. That's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is not a spinner, it's the stuff between this, it's the spinner juice, I think it's called. So that whole platform you can stand on. Reverse hyper, into another hyper, into a dash, into an upright, a right, left into a corner boost, we dash into the corner boost, and we're here, we do the same thing. And then we dash into here, we do a oh, uh, precisely placed reverse hyper. <laughs> There's that one block reverse hyper I've been imagining. But we do, we do get super precise because there's that bubble right there. Then we're over here. We demo through here. We might not have to demo because those spinners are pretty far apart, but we will demo for safety. Then we get the, the feather and we just go straight back and up and around. And this looks like it could be challenging. It also looks like it might be placed right in order to be not so challenging. Anyway, then we get the double crystal and then we have to still have the feather. This is tough because we gotta squeeze the feather through that tiny gap and then keep going to the right. And then we dash into here. And then, wait, what's, nothing's up. Yeah, we dash here and then we have another dash. We high jump into here, go around, dash into the bubble. The bubble takes us over here. We corner boost, dash up, dash upright, corner boost, dash, and then down, upright, up, and uh, we can high jump, but we don't have to. We probably will, because that'll be the easiest inputs for the muscle memory. And we land in here, down left, dash down, we're here. Why would we want to go right? Oh, for later, yeah. Then we go all around here without using a dash, we demo through there, because it's pixel perfectly placed, it'll work. Then we go right, and then we have a double dash, and then we go left. Wait a minute. I assume this bubble is unusual and it will come back immediately and allow us through there. Uh, or, or we go up? No, we have to go. It'll work out. This level was admitted into Strawberry Jam. That means it's possible and it makes sense when you're there. All right, we go back around, I think. Then we bubble, we dash upright. Then we dash right into a corner boost through this tiny little place. No, we demo dash into a hyper. That makes more sense. And then, 
We dash right into here. We demo through there. And then we go down left diagonal into the feather. We might have to dash out of the bubble into the feather. I'm not sure. We go around. And that's the end. Short and easy. Let's try it. Oh, pretty good first try. Oh, we have to dash again into the feather. Probably a buffer dash. And then this screen has Grandmaster Tech and Expert Tech. So in addition to being long, it is also hard. Got it. Right, don't go through there. Made it. Oops. This is the equivalent of the summit, but instead of having a bunch of rooms, it has one room for each theme. Yes! I forgot what to do. That's what you do. Then you do it again. So whenever I start getting corner boosts, uh, I have to get used to when to press the grab button, because I usually play without holding it. Because if you play the whole game holding the grab button, your hand gets sore. There we go. I forgot what to do. I have a double crystal, right? No, I don't. What I have to do is I have to reverse hyper off this one wide block, and then I have to demo into here for the feather, which I would not have seen if I hadn't come to the bino. I keep pressing the grab button when I get that feather. Again, the wrong way. I made it. I forgot to demo. Oh, also I looked through the controls and I don't know why, but apparently some of them had reset and now, eh, what's going on? Uh, I switched the save states and I tested it. I tested the save states and it worked, but now it's not working. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, it should be working, right? Yeah. So why doesn't it work? Oh, now it works. Okay. The other one doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. Reset and... Oops, wrong one. Reset and there. So now it works. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work. Let's clear that because we don't need it yet. Gotcha. Oh. Oh yeah, no. It is nice that that spot is straight diagonal, so I don't have to work it between up and diagonal. Straight diagonal. Ah, uh, ah, uh, forgot what to do. I think I want to go up. Yes, I want to go up. There we go. No. Ooh, that's a tight squeeze. Oh, close. So one technique I'm employing is when I have a bubble like that, with a uh, wave after it, I am dashing out of it intentionally with my own timing. So I'm in the bubble and I'm pressing the dash button so that I get the wave with my own timing. Because if I wait for the bubble's timing, then I might time it less, I time it less consistently. And if I use my own timing, then it's just the same as all the other wave dashes I ever do. Another thing I have a trouble with is right there, I will sometimes dash as if to get into the bubble, but since I don't have a dash, it just kills me. It makes me activate the bubble immediately, which is pointing the wrong direction and kills me. So the lesson is, if you have a bubble that you get into without dashing, don't press the dash button right before, or you will buffer the bubble. I have to figure out the best way to do that. Do I curve around and then dash to the right, or do I dash upright? I think curve around is the play. There we go. I forgot you have to corner boost there. This level is very much built around flow. You're flowing from one movement into the other. They're not necessarily super fast, but you do have to remember what the next move is whenever you're doing a single move. Um, I remembered, but uh, I didn't quite do it right. My guess is that I didn't buffer the jump soon enough. There we go. Ah! Made it! Ah! Ooh, got it without the demo. On accident. Now, this is the kind of level that you don't play necessarily to win. You play to play. That is, you gotta enjoy 
the part of the level that you play over and over and over again, because it's so long. So when you die there, for instance, you gotta do this part again, you know, it's still fun to play. And I think that was intentional, and I think the, the entire level is designed so that you don't have to think too hard, you can just sort of enjoy playing the level, doing the repetitive motions. It's like a, a new level on game design philosophy commentary. Like first you have the original game design, the traditional game design. This is how most games are designed, which is you introduce things and then you, you let the players progress. And they learn, they progress, progress by learning. And then there's like the troll design philosophy, where you make it entertaining by breaking the rules and doing jokes, you know, playing on players' expectations, you know, if I explore, I'm gonna find something cool, but instead, something flies down from above and kills you. And that's a commentary on game design that's like, yeah, it's possible to break the rules and still have an entertaining experience that people enjoy playing and watching. And sort of modding in general is a little bit like that, maybe not as it drastic as trolling, but you know, taking the game design elements and making it really hard in ways that the original developers never would have, and continuing to iterate upon the mechanics. And then you get to this level, which is another iteration upon that entirely, because all the designs so far are sort of like, it's about winning. You have the goal, and your goal is to get to the end of the level, and achieve the victory, find the flag, find the, uh, get the check mark on your list of levels completed. Whereas this level, there's a little bit of that in that you can win it, but at the same time, all these rooms are so big, so long, that the goal of this level, to me, seems quite clear that it's not giving you a challenge so that you win. The goal of the level is to get you to enjoy playing the level. It's doing something different from most levels in most games in that it's not challenging you to, you to get to the end. That's not its primary purpose. This game's, this level's primary purpose is to help you achieve flow state by giving you very long levels that aren't too hard, but are fun and keep you moving from one element to the next. Hmm, I'm trying to buffer those dashes. It's not working very well. Yeah, right here, I tried to buffer, like, diagonal, upright, and then up, and I still hit those spinners. Maybe I should save state around here somewhere. Save state there. Okay, it works. Okay. Okay, they got two bubbles there, I think. Uh, yeah, diagonal and then demo. Yeah, so I think I got the hang of, of uh, this part now. Eh. Yeah, just buffer everything. Uh, do I have to buffer that too? No, 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 I must be missing a key somewhere. Clear state. Oh, no, never mind, it's not a key. It, you're just supposed to get through. Uh, maybe just go to the right and then... Demo? No, I don't think that would get me through. What am I doing wrong here? Okay, I think that's it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to buffer a demo out of that dash. Hmm. It's not working. It's not straight. Hmm. I can't figure it out. So, uh, I'm going to clear the state and take a break. Because I think it's about time. Uh, my hands are a little bit sore. It's not, like, injury sore. At this point, it's like my fingers have been gripping it too tight that, like, with my pinky fingers, the size of my nails are digging into my skin. That's about the extent of my soreness. And also just, like, a general, like, hands are getting worn down from playing for an hour and a half to two hours at a time. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to look it up, and then I will be back. See you soon. All right, I'm back. It's a new day. I looked up a walkthrough, and apparently I was right. I just wasn't doing it quite right. So you do, in fact, have to get through it like that. Whoa! Okay, and then I don't... And then you have to... Okay. Demo through the next one. All right. So also, 
while I was uh, looking up the thing, I saw that the video for the walkthrough was about halfway done. Which means I'm only about halfway done with this level. So, let's keep at it. The good news is, I think, uh, demo. I think that we're almost done with this. I think we've only got a little bit after this. There we go. I think that feather is the end. So we gotta get the right spot so that we're in a place to super over that platform. I guess it counts as a hyper because we're demoing. Yeah, there's the end right there. So, let us clear the state. For some reason, I have to go into the options and reset the state buttons every time I boot up the game. But it does seem to be working. Yeah, I'm doing right click for clear state now. Wait, if I'm here, can I save this? Ah, no. Also, apparently there's an Easter egg up here, which I assume you get through by demoing through these spinners. Unfortunately, that looks pixel perfect. And I've tried a couple times to get through there and have not succeeded. So uh, I think I'm gonna give up on that and just focus on the level. Yes! <laughs> I beat the level before six hours! Oh, we got more. There's a jump arrow thing. Uh, do we... Uh, uh, wait. Uh, 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 yep, that's, how, that's what we, we're expected to do here. I assume there's another checkpoint right after here. Uh, uh, yep. Use two jump buttons for that. Okay. What do we have? Is it another... Is this the last one? There's another bino? So is this a... Ah. Uh, we must be at the halfway point then. They're teaching us new moves, or like the three-fourths point or something. They're teaching us new stuff, like we get another jump with each of these? Alright. So like... Okay, let's just get through here. We got a demo, we got a... a, a, a that and then dash, and then we got to jump out of these, and... I could do it, it's only a few jumps. Eh. So you can't jump out of the bubble. Eh. Demo? Um. Uh. Like, maybe I can get a, a super out of this? Hmm. No. How do I do it? If I go diagonal, it just kills me right away. Um, I have no idea what to do here. Don't demo that way. The bubble come back first. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, and I can jump again to get in the next one. Oh, oh boy. Wait. I think if I go straight right, then I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. That's easier. <laughs> yeah, so we do that again. So we dash, dash jump, da dash, dash jump, dash, the jump, dash, the jump, dash, jump. You gotta basically... So basically it's a, it's a super without... Wait. Oh, I see. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm getting an instant super and an instant hyper in those. And because of the up arrow, I have my, my jump back. Then I got a demo through there. So what if I don't dash? Like, if I get into the bubble, do I have... No, I, I use my jump again. Okay. Right, of course. And then a demo, and then jump through the other side, and that counts as a hyper. So I gotta, I gotta do a delayed hyper with a demo. But not that delayed. There we go. That was kind of tough. Uh, I do have a second jump button. So I have my dash 
set to X and my jump set to A, my demo is set to Y, and my second jump is set to B. So that's an Xbox button alignment so you can figure out what's going on there. All right, now another big room full of these things. We can do it. Oh, it's so big. Yeah, just demo through all those spikes and go down. Obviously. <laughs> There's the end of level. Easy is short, right? Oh. Oh. So long. So long. It is incredibly long. Uh, <laughs> there I am. Why do we want to go this way? We want to go up for some reason. And then fall so that that bubble comes back. Then we go right. I don't know. Do you want to demo through something? Is that a secret? This looks like it might be a secret. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is how you get out of something. This must be how you get into it. Uh. So let's start at the beginning. Right here. And we get a, what, corner boost into an ultra right here. Let's see if that works. Well, not with a hyper, not with a super. Um, maybe I, maybe I go a straight dash over it to recover my dash, and then, yeah, something like that. Maybe I just get a good ultra. That might work. But that's that spinner right there is put in such a way that you really can't get a jump off of this platform. Hmm. Well, that's, a, that's an op option. Well, maybe not. I think you do have to get an Ultra somehow. If so, it's extremely precise. Yeah, I have no idea how to get past this first obstacle, so I'm going to look it up. Okay, I looked it up, and apparently it is correct. You do have to Ultra here, and there just is a super annoying, super precise spinner placed so that to make it extremely inconvenient. Well, if that's what we have to do, that's what I'm going to do. Whoa, whoa, I just did it. And then the next step, which I saw from the video, is to do a wall jump off of this spiked wall. So yeah, it's Grandmaster now. So then what next? We've, we've wall jumped off of here. So we have to, what, ultra and get all the way over here with our ultra so that we have our dash, like we can't dash over to here. We jump so that we fall precisely through here. We dash to the left, then we do a demo and then a jump so we get basically a hyper on the other side and then we fly down here, dash out, we got this and we go to the right and then dash up left maybe? And then right into a super? That's gotta be it. Or maybe straight up and then into a hyper? No. Yeah, a hyper would work. And then we're in this bubble and we go down. Is that the only way to go? Um, We could go over here. We could go this way instead. So down is probably a strawberry. To be perfectly honest, I don't really want to go for strawberries in this one. Because it's so long already. And... We, just, we gotta beat this level. I'm going to the right with a hyper. And then I have another jump, but maybe I don't need it. No, 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 I use it to get the hyper. Yeah. And then I high jump over here, do a, um, a super, and then jump off the wall and then high jump here. And then I do an ultra here into here. And by the time I get to here, the rest of this will be, I've, I'll have gotten used to it, hopefully. Uh, First level that's taken me over six hours. And then we go to the right. We get the double crystal. We have to keep going. We bonk into there and fall through here. Dash into here. Do a bubble hyper. And we can dash into that. And then dash down. And then we go to the right. Dash up and left. Fall into here. Or, or do we have to go up? We might have to go up. Yeah, we do have to go up. 
So maybe with that double crystal we go up, then up left? No. Maybe the bubble will allow us to jump off of these this spike wall and we can dash up. I don't know if that gets high enough. Yeah, that key is the only key needed for this one, I think. So somehow we have to get back here to this feather. Then we go back up and around. And we go here. And we dash into this. Bouncing off of that block will probably put us into those spikes, so we have to dash left again. Um, and then we have another dash, so we dash left into here. This bubble gives us a jump. So we do a bubble hyper. So like we jump out of the bubble, but we don't wait for the bubble to go away. We want to get that super. Or maybe we could get a hyper. Maybe we could have the bubble go to the right and then, oh no, yeah, yeah, it's easy to get a hyper. We just de press the demo button to trigger the bubble and then jump out of it. And then we're over here. We, we might have to jump off this wall again into an ultra here. And then we dash down in the bubble, and it goes up, and we dash up, and we high jump. And it's okay, because those platforms will prevent us from uh, going to the side, probably, hopefully. And then we're up here, we go left, and we bounce it, bash into this, and it makes us fall down. Do we want to fall down? Yes. Yes. The, the second one. The one that's smaller and taller. And then we fall straight down through here again. And then we go over here... And yeah, so here, this first time we have to do a hyper and then a dash in order to get anywhere at all. And then the second time we finish up whatever we have to do here, and we go down here. Bubble time, down diagonal, dash to the left, and down, dash to the right, get the corner boost, and then dash into this one, probably. Up left might be the direction for that, and we go this way, we go down, dash, 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 into a reverse wave, Dash up here, do a, an ultra here. That part, this part, looks pretty easy. When I get there, I'll be pretty comfortable doing that. And then over here, we do a bubble hyper. Yeah, we'll we'll be good at bubble hypers by the time we get to here. And then we're over here, and hopefully that's open by now. It must be opened, because we got all the keys. And we dash up, and we get the feather, and we fly around here into the bubble, perhaps dashing. We get a bubble ultra. And then... We dash into this one, we go straight down, we dash to the right, we dash upright and then uh, down right, perhaps. Yeah, upright and down right. And then we do a reverse ultra, and then we're done, basically. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we do a reverse ultra, and we're, we, we have a dash, that's right. We might have to use it to get through here, so we're going to be neutraling up these walls at the end. I can do that. It's not going to be easy, but it is doable. And then we're done. Okay, so the hardest parts seem to be the parts where we have to wall jump off of these spiked walls as we're going through them, I think. Honestly, the two hardest parts for me look like the very beginning and the very end. So once we get, done, once we get the middle good, then just have to get through the beginning and the end at the same time. Hmm. It does seem like we have to dash in order to get to the wall. Maybe I'm not ultraing good enough? Yeah, I mean, I can I can get there, but I don't have a dash. And I think the people I was watching did have dashes. Am I missing a crystal? I do not see crystals. Am I missing a platform? Like something to... To get a dash back from? I mean, I just fall through there and then I don't have anything. I gotta look it up again. Okay, apparently your ultra has to be good enough that you get all the way to the other side. Great. Practice time. Oh no, I know what I need to do. Use the demo. I've been using my normal dash. I need to use my demo for this ultra. There we go, it makes more sense. I was like, is there something I'm not doing with the controls that I should be doing? Yes. Now if only I can be good enough to actually hit the platform. There we go. Okay, I can do this. There we go, got it. You know what, let's at least look at this berry. 
Oh, and for the the demo extended hyper, I don't have to I don't have to hold diagonal for it. I can just use the demo button. Like that. Whoa. I have to remember I have a dash after that, but I apparently don't need it. Okay, so this is not that hard now that I know how to do it. I can get a super demo here. What is that officially called when you do a super but it's a demo so you get a hyper? And then that's it. Okay, it's not diagonal. I could just get a normal wave off of that too. Here we go. All right, I can't even look. Okay, now I can look. And getting back is easy, just take the bubble back. Okay, what is necessary for this berry? That's a lot of bubbles. Honestly, lots of bubbles, not that difficult. So just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of bubbles. I think I can do this. And there it is. Yeah, well, let's do it. Yeah, I'm already six and a half hours in, but, you know, let's, let's do it. Oh, and we gotta go fast. Okay. Is it to the right and then a reverse wave? Or is it just to the right and then a jump? Yeah, probably a reverse wave. And then a diagonal and then another reverse wave. There we go. Whoa! Gotta go faster. Probably want to buffer all these. Ooh, I like this level. I like a room like this. I'm glad I decided to at least try it. I'm pretty sure I can get it too. Yeah, I think I, I have to actually wait a little bit longer and not buffer that. Not buffer some of these jumps. I wonder if I can go faster by skipping that one bubble. Oh, farthest yet. I assume there's no key inside the bubble. I should probably check. Nope, it's fine. Oh, demo to the right. How far am I? Probably not very. So, first demo. There's this. That's what we've done so far. Then there's this. And there's this. We're about a third of the way there, it looks like. Yeah, that's one reason why you don't want to buffer that dash. Because you won't make it. You gotta wait a little bit after that bubble. Made it farther. So I can get this beginning part down really well now. Once I get the muscle memory built up, I should be able to get pretty far through this level pretty easily. Okay, then I gotta go up, and then what do I have to do? Yeah, maybe instead of going down, maybe I can just go upright from this bubble and skip that bubble down there. Go upright and then dash to the right. That might put me into this spinner though. Okay. If I press the demo button, I can get past there. I wonder how tight this timer is. I'm sure you have to advance every bubble, but I wonder if you have to buffer a good portion of bubbles. Maybe I should just focus on getting past for now, and then as I practice, I'll get faster and faster. Wait a minute. What if I just don't get that? Do I need it to be gone for any reason? Yeah, okay, it needs to open this one over here at the end. Gotcha. I was like, what if I just don't have this thing chasing me? Oh, I just pressed the normal dash button there. Apparently you don't need to demo. Um, maybe? No, I must be wrong. It must have been a fluke. Okay, if I demo there, I don't have to use the platform at all. I can just dash right past it. Okay, what if I let this wall pass me? It's gonna block something, right? Yeah, uh, it will end up... Um, the gap will end up too far down for me to do anything. Actually, I don't know where it ends. Probably right there where that one is. Made it! Alright, uh, that was not a demo. Huh. Alright, to be perfectly honest, it looks pretty easy. So we get that, and then we go over here, and then we dash, and then we have to... I don't know what we have to do at the end. Uh, yeah. It's just... The whole room is more of the same of what we've just conquered. Got farther. Oh, hmm, here's an idea. What if at the end, this thing catches up to us, 
and then we wall jump off of it as we're moving in the same direction it's going. Maybe that's how we get to the end. You know what? I'm gonna try... Uh, try... Try getting through there for practice. There we go. Made it. Now let's try going slower. Right. That, and I have to do all the button combinations right, or else uh, I have to get through here again to practice again. Let's just go fast. Okay, I think I have to not demo into that bubble in order to get the demo out of it. Okay, my wrist is starting to hurt from all this high density input, so I'm gonna call it for now. At seven hours, whew, this room is so fun though, I wanna do it. I wanna do it. Uh, you guys are gonna have to wait a little bit longer for this one. See you soon. Okay, I've had a decent break. Ready to try some more. Wait, if I wanna practice without having this come, all I have to do is this. Okay, no, I think I see what I need to do here. I get in the last bubble and then I reverse hyper, and that'll take me where I need to go. Then I quickly neutral up this wall and get up into that gap before the uh, wall of spikes gets me. Okay, farther than ever before. <laughs> Pretty close, I am so close to this berry. Okay, my hands are sore again and I'm making rookie mistakes, so I think I'll leave it for another play session. Oh, I got so close that time. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I tried to grab. Why would I try to grab? Huh? Oh no! I got it, but I was too enthusiastic. I got it. I got the berry, guys. Feels good. That's not the way back. Ah! It's not 10 hours yet. All right. To be honest, that was one of the most fun Celeste rooms I have ever played. <laughs> Uh, what was the timer when I started that room? Yeah, so sorry for the delay for the video. Well, that's enough for this morning. I'll see you again soon. All right, let's get through this screen. All right, got there. Got there. All right, managed to get there. Oh, come on. Okay, don't dash immediately there. There we go. No! There we go. Uh, I think I'm going into the red bubble. Yeah, and then the platform moves. No, I've got a double crystal. I use one of them to get there, and then I get the, the bubble, and I use the other dash to get over here to this green bubble. And then I go up and around, I think, then into the red bubble. What do I need these other keys for? Do I need them before I go downward? Hmm. I suppose I could get these keys later. So for now, I'll just focus on getting into the red bubble. Yeah, I can just get... I still have a dash when I get there, so I can go get some of those keys the first time around. Okay, so we can dash down into that bubble. And then, yeah, we gotta go up and left afterward. Hmm. Maybe I can go diagonal upright from that crystal? Maybe I'm just not intended to do it yet. Maybe I wait till that platform, because that platform lets you do a hyper over to the left. 
And so perhaps that lets you get farther in a way that makes it easier. Yeah, because it honestly doesn't look like you're supposed to, to just go up and then left after you get this double crystal. It kind of looks like you're supposed to go up right. Like up right and then dash right and then you're over on that platform. No spikes? There's no spikes on top of it. None that jump out. So you can use it multiple times. You can rest there. Okay, so I got the double crystal and I did absolutely nothing with it. So why is this double crystal here? Hey, you get the double crystal, you dash once here, and then you fall through there where there's another crystal. Wouldn't that suggest that we want to... Why is this here? Is this going to be one of those times where I think it's a lot easier than it really is? And the reason there's a double crystal is because like, there's, there's like a whole other area that you have to go through that I can't even see. Well, here's an idea. I have another dash, so maybe I dash upward and land on here. There's only one dash though, and this platform probably falls if I have to guess. And we have to ultra off it. Okay, if you dash straight into that, then you die. So you probably have to dash away immediately. Um, okay. Oh, I see. So that platform... Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we have to go down first. We can't dash up because this platform lands there. And we need this platform to fall so that we have somewhere to land down here. And that's probably why... That probably suggests we can't get the these two keys first. Because in order to get them, we'd have to land over here afterward. Because of this one has this weird angle. All right, I'm going to go up first. All right. Made a little bit of progress. Then I got a demo there to get the ultra. I think. But don't press the dash button when you're over that wall. <gasps> right, 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 the wall. I can jump there. And then I can get a regular wave hyper. Oh, here's an idea. What if this crystal goes away? What if it doesn't respawn? So by getting this crystal, it ensures that you have a dash when you fall through here. So this crystal is still there when you come back. Then you'd be able to wave off of this platform after it's fallen. Safe state. Glad I safe stated it, because I'm dying a lot right here. Hey! Okay, managed to get the ultra. Wrong way. <laughs> Well, I got down here. I might as well practice, right? Wait, why do I need that? Why do I need that crystal at all? I'm not sure whether I'm going too early or too late. I think it was too late. Okay, so you do have to dash out of that. Okay, I can get back here. Don't know if that's intentional. I don't know, maybe I can reverse hyper to the left as I come up out of that jump through. <laughs> well, anyway, let's save state there and check out the rest of this level. I see. And that, and then corner boost. Okay, left down... Reverse wave. And then an ultra. Okay. And then we have... You know what? I should just clear the state. And reset. Because I need to look. I don't know what's going on. I feel like that should be near the end of the level. Ye of little knowledge. Okay. It's not that crazy after here. The stuff after this seems pretty straightforward. So we do a hyper, then a dash up into the feather, and then fly around, and then a demo, a demo out of this bubble and into the ultra, and then go around a little dash, dash, reverse hyper into an ultra, and then some of these at the end, which could be tough, but maybe not so much. Maybe it'll be fine. 
All right, let's just see if we can get there. There we go. Ouch. Okay, I'm getting tired for tonight. My hands are getting sore. I am so close to beating this, I am pretty sure. I only have some bubbles after the feather and some ultras, and I'm quite confident that I can get those quickly. So, see you soon. All right, I'm back. It's been 11 hours, 20 minutes. It is time to beat this level, or at least this screen. Who knows if this is the end of the level? That has happened at least four times by now. Okay, I've decided to save state here because I can get here pretty consistently, but this feather gives me a lot of trouble. So I want to practice the feather and I want to practice the end. And the first time when I stopped save stating, I was like, oh, this last part is easy. I don't need to save state here. I'll just get there and then I'll win. Okay. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Okay, so I think the trick to this feather is to go horizontal here. Man, that bubble's hard to get into. And it's a good thing I decided to save state here because I'm racking up a lot of deaths in this area. Okay, managed to make it once. I think I'll try a few more times. I did it! I did it, I'm recording, right? Okay. <laughs> I made it. I made it, guys. I beat the room. All right, next room! <laughs> There's nothing down there. Okay, is this another full room or is it the heart room? I imagine the heart room is gonna be pretty long too. This looks like another room. Oh wow, it's weird. I think we've found the last room, guys. <laughs> yep. Yep, it's another whole room and I see no sign of the heart. Okay, it might be another couple days before the video comes out. Okay, well, when you're hearing this, the video is out. But, uh, yeah, it's already been a week, so... <laughs> is there another berry? I'm not go I promise I will not go for this berry. Okay. I might go up and look at it. Let's see. I think you probably, wait, how do you even get there? Is there a, oh, there's a feather, okay. We go up, wait, wait, what? Huh? What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to not, how are we, sp how are we supposed to go the normal path? Uh, I don't see a way through it. So are, do we have to go up? I guess I'll go up just to check. Uh. Yeah, I don't see anywhere we can demo through. Uh, there's clearly a way back. So... Like... Okay, let's look around at the rest of the level. Well, how are we supposed to get anywhere? So this way is back. Oh my god, it's long. It's so scary. We demo through... Oh, this Is this a forward... So this is, this is the way to the end, right? We go around here and that's the end of the room. Where's the beginning? <laughs> how are we supposed to get, how are we supposed to go? The back is back this way? Wait, no, this isn't the way. Eh, now it looks like maybe we're supposed to go up through here. It's like, this is, okay, yeah, right here. Maybe this falls, maybe this platform falls. We'll have to test it. Okay, up. Uh. 
already going to be difficult. Start by going down. Yep. Okay, I'm standing here. This platform does not fall. Yeah, so I have, I have no idea how to get to the right. This room could be a dummy room. Like, like maybe this isn't even a real room. Maybe there's not actually a level here. That'd be kind of weird. But let's go up to see what's up. I mean, it could be that this room just exists to scare you. And then the heart's just up here. All right, what's at the end of this one? If it's a berry, I'm going back. The frick? Oh, you just go straight left. <laughs> wow. Just left, left, left to the berry. Okay, it's a berry. I'm not doing this room. But I have no idea what to do here. Oh, no, 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 no. I get it now. By looking at that room, I understand. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so we got another room before we can... We've got another room before we get the heart. Ugh, I don't think I can do it tonight. So I fly around, get this one, continue to fly. And then I do a reverse hyper. And I have uh, another dash, so I dash into there and break it? Uh, wait. And then I have this feather, and I go up. And then where would I take the feather? Not over here, surely. I mean, it kind of looks like I can get through here. That's really frightening. Like, did, it, did they want to get me through that tiny gap with a feather? That's kind of ridiculous. Maybe they want me to land on this platform though. In which case, maybe I can jump and then demo through. Maybe that'll be reliable. And I'm on this side, I have no dashes. No, you're supposed to be on this side with the dash. Um, you know, to be honest, I have, this, this level's a puzzle to me, this room. I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna look it up. All right, so I did look up somebody else doing this room. It turns out that there is something that I just didn't see. It's that right here with this feather, there's spinner juice to the left. So we can, if we like dash down into the feather, we're put in the exact right spot so we can, we can squeeze through this spinner juice. And then we're over here. So then we get this and we probably dash up and then right and then do a, a what? A super? Super off this tiny platform? That's gonna be rough. I don't like that. Uh. No, 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 no. We still have this feather. The feather is up here. We can probably wave off of it. We wouldn't want to wave off of that. Uh, yeah, it went by so fast in the video that I didn't really see it. But basically, I think we want to probably use this platform here. Uh, maybe we're flying up and around and then we dash down into here and then dash up left diagonal That would make sense And then we jump off of here into this one. And then we fly around Bash through here Can we do that with a feather? I don't think we can do that with a feather. We must have to bash this anyway so like we bash this one and then okay, we're coming around here with this feather we go down here, we bash this block, and then we dash up so that we can land here. Then we dash up left so that we're here, we hop and get this feather, then we go around, and now we're up here. We must be able to bash these with feathers, okay. Because how else could we get through here? As, yeah, so we're here. No, right, we run into it with the feather. Right, we run into it with the feather, that gets us out of the feather. We dash through, do a bunny hop, and we're here, and we fly around. Taz's can take the shortcut, and then we probably do a, a hyper off of here into this next, uh, that might put us into the spinners. No, no, it's a hyper. Uh, yeah, we do that, and we do not hold diagonal, we just hold normal or neutral. And we fly down, 
and right in the video this platform broke those oh so yeah we don't have to worry about this one because this platform will break it okay and then we fly around and we get this feather and then i guess we we bash into here yeah bash into here with the feather then we fall here we dash into that and we're neutral both times so we keep falling through here then we this is probably going to fall so we demo or hyper i mean down left dash through here and we fall and we dash left and then we dash up because we have another dash and then we hit this and we go sort of like up left up through here that's going to be tough and then uh probably dash down or no yeah we won't end the feather right there we dash down and then dash right I ride the feather to this bubble, which we ride up, and then they dashed out of it into the feather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if the bubble hits this block on top, the bubble will just go through it into the spinners. So then we get the feather, then we're down here, and then we we uh break this, I guess. And we're very careful that we don't die. It's, uh that's it's kinda harrowing. And then, what, we land here? No. No, 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 no. We dash down. No, this is broken because of that platform. This is broken. So we dash down. That puts us at the right height so we can demo through these spinners. Then we're here. This is coming down. We, uh, uh, something is pushing us up. We jump out of it right here. We get into this one. We go to the left. We're probably underneath this one. And we do a high jump into here. We do a reverse into an ultra, into another ultra. And then we're done. Easy, easy, easy. I went the wrong way. And getting these feathers to be precise is tough for me. Well, I can dash up into that one. Dash, dash. Wrong way. Wait, why would I want to dash up and not just down? Why is there a crystal up there? That was weird. I was not pressing that way. Maybe it's an intricacy of dashing. So I have to dash up in order for my down dash to put me in the right place and allow me to hold left. I don't know. I'll just do it that way. Oh, maybe it buffers me. So that maybe dashing from right there is the right spot to dash from. Okay, I, I did not mean to dash out of that. Uh, I forgot what to do. Okay, I'm starting to get the feeling we don't actually want to take the feather through there. I did watch it, but I forgot what they did here. So yeah, we could dash to the right, and then we have this crystal, and we might be exactly at the right spot if we dash when our head's against the ceiling, so that we can get a super here. Yeah. And then, what? Dash down into that crystal? Why is there a crystal on the ground? Can't we just stand there to get our dash back? No, oh, it breaks. Okay. Uh, maybe you should try a corner boosting pass there. That works. Also, unfortunately, it doesn't fall if I do that. All right, next plan. What if I dash straight down and then I dash to the left for a, a super? Now I feel like I'd have to demo there. No, maybe I'm perfectly height. Perfectly, perfectly heighted. There we go. And that platform, yeah, the platform has to fall so that the other one breaks. There we go. Made it. Ooh, this level seems less hand intensive, at least for now. Busting out the save states already. I wanna learn the level. I'm at the point where uh, I am ready to just beat it. I've had enough fun with the flow states. There'll be enough of that once I get to the end. Alright, that's how that works. Okay, cool. Alright. 
Well, that's a way to do it. Nope, nothing in there. Huh. What's going on? I'm getting a crystal, which means I can dash again. There we go. Heck yeah! Progress. Did you know you could stand here? Okay, never mind. You don't have to dash out of that bubble. But dash through? No, I have to turn through there. There's nowhere else to go. I guess I can. Oh! I dashed. I did not even hype. I didn't. I did. I didn't demo. Demo! Jump! I have to dash into there. There we go! I jump! Ah! Right, another ultra. Now what I'm wondering is, why do they give you an arrow here? Maybe it's just a signal this is where to jump? Oh yeah! Made it. Let's try that a couple more times and then start from the beginning. Oh, it's not very nice to be stuck here. Can I make it? Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Yeah. You know what? I think I might be able to beat this room this play session. Uh, clear state. It'd be two rooms in one place. Come on, not again. There we go. That's a little annoying. Wait, is this the right room? This is the wrong room. Eh. Oops. It's not gonna work. Uh, here I am. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to look ahead. There we go. I made it! Yay! I made it! Come on! Oh, there's more. Is this another huge room or is it the... Oh my god. Just show me a berry. Just, uh, just, just show me a berry! Ugh, it's so long! Really? It is dream blocks, which I love. It doesn't look like there's dream supers and hypers, too, so it might not be that hard. Uh, what is that? What if we go straight right? Yeah, we get through a whole bunch of spinner juice. Okay. Uh, uh, this level's freaking enormous. <laughs> Are there any, any berry exits? I don't think so. I think we just have to go through all of this. No! down? Yeah, wait, there is a berry exit. Yeah, going over here is a berry. Okay. Wait, how, how would you... Oh, demo. Demo, I guess. Just demo through there. Anyway, we're not going there, because that's a berry way. Alright, well, I will tackle this another play session. Sorry it's been so long, but I gotta pace myself. I just beat two rooms in one sitting, and pl been playing for like two hours straight, so yeah, see you soon. All right, I'm back again. Let's take a look at, what is this? Oh, it's a jump through. <laughs> let's take a look at this level and plan our route. But first, I'm gonna set the save states because I have to reset it every time I load up the game for some reason, since my new controller. All right, so we go in, we have to dash down right and then up right, <laughs> not just up. And then up, and then, wait, what? Uh, no, 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 not up. So we jump out of that, and then dash up left, down right, and then right. We jump out of this, and we dash, what? Up right, then down, then down right, 
and j into a, a dream hyper, and then we dash up, and then we wait. That's that's a that's a dream block. What are we supposed to do with that? <laughs> I guess we try to do a reverse hyper off it. Maybe it'll work if we get the buffer, and then we go to the left and do a dream hyper through it. Every time we see a crystal, that means a hyper or a super. Then up, then uh, no, uh, uh, up left. And we bounce out of that one and we go up and wait a minute. There's so many things, um. Yeah, how are we supposed to get all these? Why would we want to get all these? And then I just make this wall move? Okay, we have to get all the keys. That's for sure. So we're, we're, we're down below this one and we have, we have one dash. So we can dash up right and hold the grab button and that will put us right here and then we slide down okay no 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 we dash straight up then straight down up right and then hold the grab button I believe that will make us stop here even if uh yeah and then we want to go up left and then we'll be here we'll ha we'll jump out we'll have a dash dash up here up right and then reverse super and perhaps reverse no 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 not reverse hyper that won't get us high up and then we we demo no with a super well, we should be high enough we just do an ultra off of here down left into a hyper up up down right dash twice no don't dash if we don't dash we'll keep our crystal that might be okay Ooh, this is interesting the bubbles might get us to go uh, through the dreams. That's down. Okay, we're not going that way. We're going up. <laughs> so we go up. We jump out. We do a dream super with that arrow. We go up. We dash left. Okay. The double crystal must be useful for something. I don't have any idea. Maybe after this bubble we dash down right twice. And here we reverse super. Up right. Uh, dream. A uh, bubble super. Go through these bubbles back and forth um after this one on the left we this one is not back yet so we dash down if we try to go straight down we would hit this the spinner then we go right dash upright dream super no bubble super i don't know maybe delayed bubble super i'm worried about hitting my head on that maybe bubble hyper i'm worried about hitting my feet on that then we're in here upright down Right, grab, up, right, down, right, right, up, right, and then bash, and then super off of this, and dash up, and then we're here, bunny hop, feather, go around, reverse ultra, there's more, it keeps going, it keeps going, this is the longest room, this may be the final one, I've said that like four times already, but this one is definitely longer than the previous two or three. We're here, we do a dream and then a jump and dream, jump and then up and then left into the feather and then we go around and then we go down and then this, this is where it ends. So we don't actually want this to be here. Huh? But then there's probably yeah, that's blocking the way. So we have to go through it. We have to do it fast. <sighs> Great. And uh, we're here. We dash down a whole bunch really fast to break all these things. And then we're down here. Down left. Into the bubble. Go to the right. Dream hyper. Dash. Jump off. Uh, dash straight up off of this. Don't jump. That we're at the exact right height to go straight to the right through the spinner juice. And then we're done. Yay. Easy. Let's try it. Not the worst for the first try. Okay, upright. Okay, I tried grabbing. It seems you cannot you cannot stop your momentum if you grab there. Also, I just landed on that spot. All right, made it through that one. Alright, I've gotten good at dream hypers. Okay, maybe we can dream... Maybe we can super there? Maybe that, I think that was the right height for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, no. We have to hyper. 
Well, if we have to hyper, but we only have the height for a super, we better do a demo then. There we go. And then another dream hyper after that. Okay, up, down, uh, then we have to, yeah, we have to buffer that, and then, wait, what? Okay, I, th I think I have an idea. Yeah, we go up, down, up, right, left, and then we get a, a dream high jump wall bounce, whatever it's called. Once we're on the other side, we dash up and we wall bounce off of this one. And that should get us, hopefully, into the green bubble. There we go. Wrong way. Okay. We have to go up right and then reverse super. There we go. And then ultra off of there. I think I might start using save states because this first part is getting pretty easy for me. Oops. That was a... A bad save state. There we go. Should probably make those bubbles go fast. Okay, I'm I'm not going to the right, I'm just going up. Maybe it's expecting me me to use two downright diagonal dashes instead of one. Would that be faster? No, no, I just used both my dashes. Okay, that works. Even if the platform is there, we can still get through. I gotta not press the dash button until I'm in that bubble, and then I have to intentionally do the uh, bubble super inputs. Okay, gotta go faster. Wow, this makes you go so fast. Alright, managed to get there before the platform killed me. Hmm, that's tough. There we go. Ooh, good practice. I think I have to hold uh, grab and left. No, no, no. I got to buffer an upward dash. Hmm. Maybe I do have to grab. I don't think buffering is working. Okay, I managed to grab. I got to get to do that fast, but I think I was okay. Hmm, maybe I'll try a normal super. Okay, normal super works. Okay, then we want to reverse bunny hop. All right, got farther that time. Save it again. All right, got the next feather. Mash, dash, okay. And then we got to go down left, and then we'll be done. Because that platform's not chasing us anymore. I mean, we won't be done with the level, because there's still more hazards after that. But we do we'll be done with this chase sequence. And it's nice that this chase isn't super tight. So that we can, we can go at a decently comfortable speed and still make it. Okay, I gotta save state in that bubble, because I feel pretty comfortable getting there. This feather, I think, might be the hardest part of the level so far. Safe state. Hyper, dash, uh, dash up. Wait, do we have to, do we have to go down a little bit at the end? That's crazy. Maybe I'm missing. Yeah, we can't make it straight through there. That's insane. No, you cannot make a level like this. Something's gotta be wrong. I must be doing something incorrect. Straight right does not get you through that. That's insane. That's wrong. You can No, 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 no. Okay, what if I demo out of it without pressing any other direction? Demo. Okay, that works. You just demo at the end. Uh, okay. I think I'm ready to give it a go from the beginning. Let's go. Frick. This is not... Uh, Okay, I had some trouble finding myself in the debug menu, so I could restart this room. And, uh, yeah, this is not the last room.
I did it. I'm recording, aren't I? Yes. Okay. I did it. That room was very long and took me a long time. I think I'm not done yet. So let's take a look at this room. How long is it? It looks pretty long. Just watch, there's gonna be a berry at the end. <laughs> okay. There's another room, guys. This may be the last room. I'm tempted to go into debug mode and look, but I won't. Hopefully, it won't take two and a half hours like that one just did. All right, what do we do here? We have to demo Ultra, because if we try to do a normal hyper, we'll go through this and then this bikes. We demo Ultra, and then what? We go all the way over here? I guess we must. Yeah, demo Ultra, and then dash up right, then left, then up right into a uh, Dream Bunny, into an Ultra. Yeah, this is a this is what they call a um. Grandmaster level. <laughs> Is this plat this platform maybe fallen? So we have altered off of here. We get this double crystal. We do the bubble into the platform and like um uh neutral jump off of it, I guess, as it's falling, and then we fall through here. Dash down right, left, or maybe yeah yeah, uh so, uh, this doesn't look dashable. Anyway, then we we get this feather. We go swoop around and over here, and we do a hyper into the bubble. Up right looks like it would kill us. No, maybe we'll be fine. Do up right, and then and and then what? And then what? Is this platform still falling? Like, does it? reach us here at this moment so that we can like neutral jump off it or something uh uh or maybe it lands yeah it lands right there and then we can land on top of it right or is it too short i don't know you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna look up how to do this room because i'm scared Okay, I looked up three people's playthroughs just to make sure I wasn't just looking up a hard version. And uh, let's start over from the beginning. Describing. Yeah, we do the the, the... 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 Words. The Demo Ultra right here. And then here, we can do one of several things. And it makes sense to uh, me to dash up, down left, right, and then up left because then we'll be popping out of this and we don't have to do any fancy movement in order to get over to here. We can sort of wave into an ultra. And then we do indeed hit the bubble and we grab this as it's falling and then neutral jump over to here. And I do not remember what we do to get over here because they just kind of did it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess uh, dashing somehow or other. And then we fly over here we do the wave and then we do a corner boost here which i would not have known if i hadn't seen it the platform lands here and you do a corner boost off it Oof. and then you hit the spring and dash up dash left so that you're in this pixel perfect area dash up and then you do not hit that so you have to go to the left and you have to grab here and then jump and then neutral off this lower platform because you don't want it to fall and break that you neutral off it, then you can grab the top one and climb to the top, neutral up to here, jump into the bubble, go down, dash up immediately when you hit the crystal, and then you want to dash into this platform that you did not break, so that you go right through here. You get this, zigzag your way through here, jump out of here, and then uh, dash up into the feather, which takes you around here. You go straight up with the, the bubble, I assume you're safe, uh, dash anyway grab this and fall immediately because you have to get under it it's falling you have to get under it so you dash and then you can either after you dash left 
you can either jump and then dash up, or you can high jump off of the other side of this one. And then here, it's set up so that you can ultra. I guess you can ultra. It doesn't look like you need to ultra. And then you're here and you do a, I can do this. <laughs> you do a reverse ultra from that platform with the thing, the back on it. That is going to kill me a few times, I can guarantee it. You're ultraing through here. And uh, maybe there must be something behind this block. Um, yeah. And then you get over here. And you fly over here. This is moved. You grab it so that you get out of your, your uh, feather. You don't dash. You drop through here. Dash left. Bubble to the right. Do a, probably a dream hyper out of there. Dash right, bubble out of here, do a jump out, then do a high jump, and then use your other dash to get this, and then do a bunny hop, and then do an ultra into the feather, and then you win. Easy, right? So easy. Go. All right, great start. Hmm, maybe that's not the easiest way to start. Yeah, I think I might want to try my original idea. Okay. Okay. That was one thing that I saw was to go this, then back, and then up. That's going to take practice. Fast bubble out of there. And I think this is the last room. I'm not sure. But I have a suspicion it could be. Okay, you can horizontal dash into it. That's a tough feather, it's gonna take practice. Here's hoping I just got unlucky on the previous room and this one doesn't take me longer. Okay, little progress. Okay, I made it there, I forgot what to do, but I know what to do. There we go, oops. I made a mistake. Don't grab that bottom one. All right, I made it here with save states. Right, then you gotta bounce into that next one. All right, I'm done. Done for tonight. See you soon. All right, I've save stated here because I really need to practice this part. Right. Uh, uh, dash. Okay. Okay. Made it through those dreams. I think I've gotten through the hardest part of the level now. There's a lot more, if I remember, but I think it's not too hard. What I mean by that is I think it's it's only as hard as the previous rooms, not as hard as the rest of this room so far. All right, you have to you have to do that. You have to high jump or, or at least jump off the other side of that platform. Maybe I should demo under that. There we go. And uh, I could have just jumped to the next one because that I don't have to do an ultra there. Okay. Okay, I think I'm discovering that a demo jump is the easiest way for me to get by. Okay, got to the feather. That double ultra for some reason is hard for me. I keep missing going past the second prop left. Right, then you grab onto that platform. All right, made it here. This feather's a bit visually noisy, kind of hard to tell where you're supposed to go. Okay, made it that far. Okay, do I have to dash up there into the ceiling? Where am I supposed to dash? I'm not sure. Do I just dash? Oh, maybe I don't high jump. Yeah. Ooh, here's another idea. What if I'm intended to reverse bunny hop there instead of just normal bunny hop? There we go, that might be better. I think I could have saved that too.
Yeah, that seems to be better for me than trying to land. Because when I land, I miss the second platform. And it makes this wall more intuitive. I think that feathers the last obstacle before the end. Which is good, because this has taken so long. I mean, what I mean is there's a lot of really hard stuff. Yeah, that's the end right there. I don't think there are any more surprises. I think it's just the next to the end. There we go. All right. Clear state. Restart from the beginning. How many hours is this going to take? Zero, apparently. So yeah, uh, apparently when I have places to rest, it is easier. Also, this we still haven't finished the level. There's still more. There's still more! Uh, I think from my mistakes into the, the debug mode, I think this might be the last room. For real, actually, this time. Okay, it's huge. We have to move everything. Wait, why do we have to move those? Okay, we'll find out. So, where's the exit? The exit over here? Probably over here. We're probably bubbling through here. And then it, like, breaks the wall open or something. Or maybe the heart's right in the middle. Uh, huh, huh. Huh. Alright, let's start at the beginning. Let's be rational about this. The quiet-minded, I don't know what the words are right now. I've been playing this level for so long, almost 19 hours. Okay, we go through here and it looks like we want to bubble hyper out of there. Let's try, um... Okay, yep, that works. We bubble hyper and... I mean dream hyper, of course. And... Then we're here, and we do a, a round thing, and uh, hyper over to here, and then up through there. And then probably jump out the other side and hit this one. And then, which way do we want to go? There's two ways we could go. I don't like that. I don't like it. Um, let's try start by going up left, because it looks like this area might loop around. We up left, and then we're here, we dream hyper through here, then we're over here, and we have to dash up immediately and get this high jump. And then we dash to the right, and then do the high jump on the other side. And then we do a left, up right, left, dream hyper, up to the top here, and then the spikes probably pop out. And we have to dash to the, to the right, we're falling, we go left, upright, and then dream hyper. No, no, no. If we, if we go up here, then we probably just move to the right and leave that crystal for later. And we do the thing and we dream hyper out of it, and then we uh, go um, probably right, up, left, down. All right, where were we? Uh, coming down here. Then we dash, um, what? Right, down, left, up, then right, and then high jump. All right, so I feel like, well, maybe it's just this corner, but I feel like if we can get this dream block stuff down, this level should be not too bad. It's probably just this corner. I bet, I bet this is the final test room. They're going to have everything that this level has been about somewhere in the room. Anyway, we're down here, and I don't think there's anything chasing us. Maybe there is. No, 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 there's the last key. So, like, yeah, nothing's chasing us, so we can take our time with these bubbles. And then we go over here, and then we're here, and there's only one way to go. To go down. 
It looks like we're going to come to this bubble multiple times. Well, I was thinking, oh, this, this feather will take us straight through the spinner juice. No, 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 the feather goes around. All right. Now we're back here and back in the bubble. We go down right. I don't know why this dream block is here. Maybe for the end. Here we are. We go down right and we have two dashes. So probably right and then upright. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a bubble right here in the middle, probably. That one will take us to the right. Maybe. Yeah. So we take these up here and we dash up into the feather. We probably have to buffer that dash. Then we get through the spinner juice. Go around. These are here and we have to go upright because that's in the wrong spot for anything else. We hyper over to here. Get the bubble. Reverse hyper. Yeah, the end must be through that wall or something. Reverse hyper. I bet this block falls. And then we... Uh, high jump off this wall, get the bubble, go to the right, and then hyper to the left. It's not a reverse hyper. And we fall down this. And somehow we get this key. I don't know how. Oh, oh, this block probably falls. Do we grab it? No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, well, we'll figure out something to do here when we get here. And then up here we bunny hop. And we get the feather and we fly around where uh, we have to dash into this so that we fall through that pixel perfect gap. And then we come down and we do it again. Where do we go next? Where do we go next? Uh, some of these have opened, right? We've got that one. Maybe the bottom one is opened. Yeah, some of these have opened. So we go one of these other paths, like, uh, I don't know. Let's try going, let's, let's imagine we go down. So, we get the bubble, we go right, and then we dash twice to get in here. We go around, and then dash left, and, eh, something is correct so that we can make it onto this. And then we do a wave over to here, and then the bubble, no, no, this is backwards. We're, hmm, I think we're supposed to come back that way. So let's try going this way. Maybe we can go da- take- oh, we take this bubble and we go diagonal down left. I see. It takes us through those dream blocks in the middle. I thought it was just stylistic, but I think we can get through there if we're pixel perfect, which the bubble will be. Then we dream hyper over here, and then we- then we bubble hyper- bubble super? Bubble hyper into the feather. And then we fly around, and we're here, and we go down, and we reverse- and then we demo through here, and we dash down, then we, wait, um, why, why would we want to, hmm, okay, well, for some reason we, we get a double crystal, and then we do a, a, de a demo super, and we have this double crystal, and we dash in, no, no, we probably just get into the bubble, we have a double crystal, we go up, hit the ceiling, Hit there, and then, mm. We go up, hit the ceiling, fall into here, hit the bubble. Bubble over to here. And then, um, maybe we can super off of that. Yeah, dash right, dash up. And then we go through here, demo through there. Dash to the right, we've got a double crystal. And maybe we have to use it to get into the bubble, but maybe not, probably not. And then we have the bubble. And then, then we do something, probably upright. We go upright, and we get this last key, and we jump. And, uh... Wouldn't that one move this block? Anyway, there should be a, a red bubble somewhere, I think, that probably takes us right through here, into the end. Great! Let's practice. I have to make sure I'm recording sometimes, because I wouldn't want to miss stuff, especially in this level. Okay, starting with a demo doesn't give you an automatic Dream Hyper. It is easier to activate the bubbles manually because then I get to... I think I've explained this this episode. But I can more easily time my dash, my next dash. Alright, that one opens. It just opens... Oh, uh, maybe they'll all fly away at the end. Maybe this is a custom asset.
Ooh, wait longer before high jumping. Yeah, um, maybe don't even high jump, just jump. That works. Then we high jump there. Whoops. There we go. Whoops. I guess we do have to dash right. Or maybe, no. Maybe down right? Yeah, because if we dash straight right, then we'll get this crystal. That'll be bad. So down right, down, left, upright, dream hyper. Farther. So I found it's easier to do a super here than a hyper. All right, I made it through that part. And I am getting tired, so I am going to save practicing the rest of this room for another day. See you soon. All right, time for the second leg of this journey. I don't need to, I don't feel like I need to use save states because it's it's three parts and you can practice each part individually. So, uh, I think I'm going to just take a quick look and yeah, it seems pretty simple. Um, wait, where does this go? Oh yeah, left. <laughs> this, one, this one is the feathers and bubble. Feathers and bubbles. This one is the dream blocks. And the last one, what's the last one? More, more feathers and bubbles. This one has a, uh, one of those, but only one, I think. Um, wait, what am I supposed to do out of here? Oh, two dashes. Okay, it seems you do not need to buffer that. Yeah, the, these spinner juice feathers are times when it is good to have eight directional controls. And something happened with some of the feathers where I would like come out of the feather at a non-eight direction angle. That might, that might just be how feathers work. I may have been understanding incorrectly. I thought controllers did 360 degrees based on a, a speedrunner I saw who did reflection and held the stick at a slightly non-upward angle through the first part of reflection. And it did not go in eight directions. So I assumed that having a controller meant that your feather could go in any direction. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, reverse super? No, 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 right. Go past and then hyper. Okay, I, I, I did, did, did it wrong. Eh. Eh. Oh, grab, oh, uh, jump off that and dash upward, then grab and climb. I think that should do it. Yeah, don't dash into it, just, just jump off of it. Just neutral off of it and dash upward. Then climb quickly and bunny hop. Yeah, go faster. No, 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 what am I doing? I don't have to climb, I can neutral. There we go. Wrong way! There we go. Straight down. But not straight down into there. We want to go straight down and then dash to the right into the bubble and then go down diagonal. And I don't know why there's... I don't know why you can land on top of this one on the right. Maybe we'll find out soon. They go through here and do all this. Yeah, that second section was definitely easier than the dream block section. Heck yeah, that's so cool. Diagonal, diagonal, yeah, cool. Dash out of that, probably. Yeah, and then straight down, reverse hyper. Man, this section's really short. Then demo, right. Oh, I see what's happening. Those blocks are moving so that we can't go through the dream blocks more than once. So yeah, we get the yellow one, then this block moves to block the yellow one. We get the blue one, this block moves to block the blue one. It's like one-way locks. Dash? Super? No. Demo hyper. Okay, then right, I, I ride the bubble. Okay, and I see this triangle is a different look from the rest of these blocks. The triangle looks like just, just a move, not a move block. What is it called? A, a switch block? Something like that. And pr so probably inside this green triangle block, there's a red bubble. Go to the right. 
Oh, corner boost. I didn't realize there were spikes on that. That makes more sense though. I was wondering how I'd get all the way to the other side. Corner boost, dash, dash, yeah. No! It's hard for me to tell coming out of the corner what the timing is for that dream, dream hyper. I'm not sure if I'm going too early or too late. There we go, whoops. Upright. Um, so there's still a yellow key. Maybe that means, maybe that's just, okay. After that, there's a yellow one. Suggests that there's probably a yellow key somewhere around here that I get. Or was it a dream block? Maybe it was a dream block. Okay, I can get into the red bubble. Yeah, there's a, a yellow block there now. Hmm. Well, I've got through all three segments. The This one is definitely the hardest of the three. The other two are pretty simple. If it was just the other two, I would get through here very quickly. I'm not quite sure what to do at the end, though. I'm a little confused. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to look up somebody else doing this room. Be back soon. Okay, so I looked it up. And just to see if there were any surprises that I should know about. And um, uh, I discovered that after you go all three directions, there does indeed appear a red bubble right where I thought it would. Um, I did not watch where the red bubble goes, so if there are surprises over there that can kill me, I do not know. Anyway, I'm about to beat this room. And this entire level. Okay, I, what, what, what was that? There's, there's a platform way over on the edge that didn't fall. Why didn't it fall? Okay, okay, I see. I didn't learn to do this one right. I have to reverse super with that bubble. I have to do something I didn't know I had to do. I won, but I didn't win. All right, I'll do it again. I have to check if I'm recording. Yes. All right, all right. I made it in here. That was that was kind of funny. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. Careful. Oh, but a respawn point. Okay, here we go. I'm winning today, guys. I'm gonna do it. Pretty sure this is the the heart room. Uh, where are you? There you are! There's a berry up here. There's not a berry up there. Yay! <laughs> yes! Yes! Uh, if my voice is weird, it's because it's early morning right now. Oh, look at that! 
9,458 deaths. And let's find a book. Ah, uh, 22 hours. Well, if you count all the one minute breaks I took without leaving the game, it's 21 hours. But yeah, we finally found it, guys. We finally found the level that's harder than Mosaic Garden. Oh my goodness, this was a long, this was a lot of work. I played, okay, I only took one day of break because my wrists were sore. But other than that, I've been playing like one to three hours every single day since the previous level. So, oh my goodness. This level is honestly really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. The music really helped. The fact that the levels, for the most part, weren't that hard. They were just really, really long. And so I was able to get into the flow state of mind and just enjoy playing the level. And it, it felt good. Every time I beat a level, well, there was that one level that was like third to last or fourth to last um, that took me two hours, two and a half hours after I figured out how to do it that I stopped enjoying. But all the rest of the screens, that last one, like the berry, it was just so much fun. I loved it. So from now on, hopefully the next video and the others of the of the yellow will not take as long to get out. But yeah, that's been this episode of Strawberry Jam. Pretty soon on Patreon, I'm going to open up uh, nominations after I finish the yellows. So if you're waiting on that, then uh, you know when that's going to come up. And uh, yeah, thank you a lot for watching. Thank you so very much for watching this very long episode of Strawberry Jam. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Celeste and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.